Hello, everybody. Hope you're well and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis. Wow, that's like old times, right? We are going to be jumping into the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to be giving you my honest opinion of what I'm looking for next and the reasons why. So I hope that you really enjoy this video. You can learn from it and you can be prepared for the next very important levels that we have off the back of this triangle. Uh, so we obviously came down. We're starting to form a potential large failed auction of the overall range low. Is this bullish? Well, if we can get follow through from this triangle, absolutely yes. Okay, there are a few steps required, which I'll be going through in this video, of course. But yeah, over the past few days, it's been pretty simple, while also pretty slow in terms of just simply it was making those lower highs, but at the same time, those higher lows. So what does that give us? It gives us a symmetrical triangle, but always view this as a 50-50, you know, so, you know, if you read the textbook, it's going to tell you this is a bearish pattern. It's come from the downside. It's consolidating. Expect lower. But we all know you don't trade off of textbooks. You trade off of the market conditions. And really simply, we've come down to support. We're starting to form a potential failed auction. I view that as always a 50-50, okay? There's no need to think just because it's a symmetrical triangle from a downtrend that it's going to break to the downside. That is not what you look for in trading, okay? Uh, you almost trade against the textbooks. Uh, so yeah, we have seen a start of a breakout here. Okay, and I want to go over some really important targets that we can have from this triangle. If we are not, and this is very important, if we are not looking have a guess for that fake out for that fake out i'll go over that fake out scenario in a second but for now just keep it simple uh for that we can be understanding the target of this we will take it from the overall low to the overall high of where that triangle for me started and we can see when we move this to the breakout of the triangle as long as we get no fake out we can see the targets actually coming in <clears throat> currently uh, from that exact breakout location to around 30 uh, 63,700 okay so this of course lines up pretty nicely with these highs back from the start of the month so we got a nice target zone around 63,800 give or take a few hundred dollars either side okay so that's our that would be our target zone to the upside based off of this triangle breakout okay I want to now cover for you uh one level prior to this which is of course on our higher term time frame naked pointed control there on the daily at sixty one thousand dollars so please do not forget sixty one thousand dollars as that potential turnaround zone too but the overall target of this sat more towards sixty four thousand dollars but i repeat don't forget about sixty one Okay, so in terms of the fake out, as we all know, fake outs are fairly common on uh, cryptocurrency when we get these triangles. So what could we be looking for in terms of the fake out here? Well, we would need to see, first of all, a loss of resistance into the support. So locally, we can see over the past few days, we've had pretty strong resistance here around that 58k zone. So if we Okay, first of all, we can flip that into support for continuation. But if we come down and we lose this and we get a fake out of that triangle, and we would really confirm, right, coming back down below 57,800. I have one other major level of support that we can be looking at, and that's the anchored VWAP from the low of the triangle on Friday. And that's coming in at 56,000, stay 56,475. Let's be precise, right? So 56,475. So that, that would be our two steps of weakness. First, coming back into the triangle then losing the anchored vwap of this uptrend okay this is where we would be looking to pivot for a higher low if we're going to get to continuation okay that's almost like a fake out and you would expect a lower drop but you know almost a fake out of the fake out i would call off with that anchored vwap so uh yeah let me explain very simply what we got going on right now okay we have broke that triangle to the upside Next target locally, 61,000. Then we got the overall triangle target sat around $63,800. So we got a few levels to the upside. Please be aware if we come back into the triangle, that will be a fake out. And it's really going to be a fake out off of around this one to one extension. And that's from the low up to the highs, back down to the lows. You can see we've come to around, okay, come to around this one to one extension based off of an A. B down to this low potential C right so if we are coming back into the triangle that's where we would start to confirm a faker but as it stands right now we have got the breakout so we would look for this to flip to support but if that support is lost that's where we get confirmations of a fake out so I would always view the market like this we do not need to predict the market of whether it's going to be a legit breakout and continuation or a fake out from here we can simply wait we can wait patiently to check the reaction on the tests okay and see whether we 
actually end up getting acceptance back in or whether it's a strong back test let's say going into new york open for continuation you know that's where i would expect the next volume injection coming into new york open so i do want to cover the if we get a much bigger fake out okay so at the moment again the probabilities are not highest for this locally why because we have not even lost the support yet okay but if that comes into play and we lose our anchored view app and we start to break down we can look for an overall fake out reversal so fake out to the upside for the reversal and out of interest i find this very nice because the confluence that you have down here is big and that target actually comes in at around forty nine thousand seven hundred dollars okay so on this scenario again we need to few, see a few steps once again right we've seen that potential fake out what would need to be confirmed from here then is coming back into the triangle losing our anchored vwap breaking down these higher low structures and that would then give us a confirmed fake out and that where we, we could be looking for that reversal and that target of this triangle comes down to around forty nine thousand seven hundred dollars where we do have confluence down there so you know it is a level that i like okay am i saying we're going there now no i'm absolutely not all I'm focused on more locally is the breakout that we've seen thus far and whether this ends in more of a confirmation of that fake out. And for me, again, I want to make this very simple, clear and easy to understand. I will be looking for the volume injection on New York Open. That is where then I will be coming into the order flow and making an informed decision as always. Are we actually looking for a back test and hold? And this is what we use the order flow to really back this up. And again, there's never 100%, but we can get very nice probabilities. So I'll be looking for that back test or if we get the acceptance, you know, on increasing volume coming back into that triangle, then I feel the anchor view up is a very significant level of support. And if, if lost or at the end of the day, I'm still not saying we're going 49 gate i will then continue to trade this sideways range that we've been trading for the past few days okay or we can simply look down towards the low of the triangle fake out of the high fake out of the low and it's only then once again if we get acceptance then we look down towards the lower triangle target right so you can understand here i would never say trading is easy it, it, it has you know several layers of complexity you do have to have uh you know you have to be very let's just say you have to be very switched on to the market you cannot just come in here and expect to spend five minutes a day and walk away with profits you know you do have to you know recognize these different scenarios and uh, you know it's, you know it's a very common that we'll, i'll get the noobs coming in here and commenting hey this guy says it can go up or it can go down what a genius you know i i just recognize as a professional trader yes the market can go up the market can go down we are not here to dictate the market direction we are just here to trade the highest probabilities based off of confirmations from the reactions that we get at our levels of interest where we want to take trades okay so it's not about predicting it's not about it's not about, you know, being right or wrong. It's about coming in here, making profits, moving on to the next trade. If you want to see live trading, I do have a live trading stream tonight for the power hour. Um, and over the past few days, I've started to get back into this account. Obviously, I, I took a bit of a, a little bit of consolidation on the account while we were getting major downtrends, but we've got a little bit of volatility coming back, right? So I've took a few more long trades, IMX, Pepe pay surprise surprise but yeah the account is back on this uptrend still on that 100 percent win rate still waiting for the very best trades and tonight if you want to see trades taken live in the time the reasons why i'm taking the entry why the stop loss is where it is where we're going for those take profits the analysis and the trades taken in front of your eyes live in the moment well that's what you're going to get tonight in the power hour stream with myself Severin and Igor, the chart champions coaches. So we'll be covering, of course, crypto as well as the futures market. So if you are interested in getting into trading the NQ or the ES, well, we'll get you covered in that stream too. So the power hour tonight, myself and Severin and Igor will be doing some live trading as we go into the power hour, which is a very volatile hour. So we're going to be locking in some lovely trades. So if you want to see that, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. I wish you a very good day. I hope that you are well and yeah, I hope that you're now prepared with some great training setups to come. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.